Hello, dear students. Welcome to a new lesson of Julia Caesar. I really hope you are doing well. Um, let me remind you of what happened last time. Uh, of course, as you know, Caesar was getting ready to go to work, but his wife, Calpurnia, tried to stop him, but she failed. He left to work with Decius, if you still remember, uh, and was killed by many men who stabbed him to death. Antony, after Caesar's death, went to the killers themselves and asked for their permission to talk to the crowd. He wanted to talk to the people, but he wanted to fool the killers. He wanted to deceive the killers to get revenge for his dead friend. He learned that or he knew, he, he knew that Octavius, Caesar's nephew, was on his way to Rome. Okay. Now, before we start the new part, I want you to pause this video, go, go to your readers, uh, open page 46 and start reading from, the, from half of that page after the dot until page 49, the dot on page 49 or the top half of this page. And on the CD, I want you to play uh, these two tracks E and F because these two tracks uh, are the ones reading the part which we are discussing today. Okay, so uh, now let's go to the events of our uh, readers today. Okay. Of course, you know that after you that you have read the part I told you to read, uh, the next day after and to and to Antony talked to the killers. The next day, Brutus spoke first to the people. He wanted to explain the reason why they killed Caesar. He told them that he killed or, they, he, or he had killed Caesar because he loved Rome more than anything else. And the crowd, of course, cheered for him. They were happy with Brutus and said that Brutus should take Caesar's place. So Brutus wanted to win the people's support. That's why he spoke first. He didn't want to let Antony anger the people. He said they killed Caesar for Rome, and it was all for the good and for the sake of people and for the sake of Rome. That's why the people cheered for him. Antony spoke next after Brutus. He told the people that Caesar had been a great man and that he had refused to become king three times. However, they must believe Brutus because he was an excellent and an honorable man. So if Caesar had wanted to become king, he could have been king because he had been offered the crown three times. But he had refused all of this. He didn't want to become king. Antony said that Brutus was an excellent and an honorable man. He didn't want to attack him with words. But was that true? Did Antony really mean this? No, he didn't mean this at all. Antony was a very good talker. He wanted to win Brutus and he wanted to win the crowd at the same time. That's why he said what he said. He said this because, as I mentioned, he didn't want to attack Brutus directly with his words. After that, Antony told the crowd that they should be angry with Brutus and, Cash and Cassius or Cassius, but they wouldn't be angry with them because they are excellent men. So he wouldn't, he wouldn't say anything bad about them. And the crowd agreed with Antony. He, Antony wasn't attacking them directly. He wanted the people themselves to turn against them. Did he succeed in this? Yes, he succeeded in this and the crowd agreed with Antony. Antony said that he had Caesar's will, but he wouldn't read it. The people insisted that he should read it 
and he read it and told them that Caesar had left money to every Roman. Every citizen uh, had money from Caesar. He could, they could take Caesar's money after Caesar's death. And the people cheered and were angry with the killers. So Antony managed to fuel the people against the killers. He made them angry with the killers after saying that Caesar had left them money. They cheered that they loved Caesar and that he was a great man. They wanted to kill Brutus and his group. They wanted to take revenge for Caesar now. So Antony succeeded in turning the people against the killers. The people left and agreed to kill those killers and burn down their houses. Antony learned that Octavius had arrived in Rome and that Cassius and Brutus had left the city. Antony met Octavius and they decided to take revenge. So the people left to chase the killers. They went after them, after Brutus and Cassius and their group. Antony felt that he had done a good thing. He had succeeded in what, in what he wanted to do. He learned that Octavius was in town. He arrived and Brutus and Cassius left the city. They left Rome. He and Octavius decided to unite, to join their armies, join their forces and get revenge. Now, what do you think would happen next? Would Octavius and Antony fight Brutus and Cassius? And who would win this fight if it happened? Well, this is something that we should see next time, inshallah. Uh, now, we, this uh, part is quite short, uh, but I really hope that you enjoyed this part and you understand it. Now, uh, as usual, we go after explaining each part, we go to the, the important quotations of, uh, of, these, of each part. Uh, so the, the important quotations that I would like you to look at this time are Did you want him to live and make you all his servants? Who do you think said this? From the picture, you, could, you get to see that it is Brutus, exactly. And you will find this quotation on page 46. Now let's see the full answer. These words were said by Brutus to the people of Rome. He decided to speak to the crowd first before Antony to say the reason for Caesar's murder. Okay, the following one says, If I read it to you, you will be very grateful to Caesar. You will find this quotation on page 47. Who do you think said this and to whom and what was the situation? Exactly, it was Mark Antony. So Mark Antony said these words to the people of Rome. He showed them Caesar's will in which Caesar gave money to every Roman. He planned to turn them against the killers as part of his revenge. Okay, so at this point, we reach the end of our today's lesson. I really hope that you are getting excited by this uh, very great play written by William Shakespeare. Uh, and next time, inshallah, we will, in, we will finish this play. Uh, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to bring them to class. Thank you very much and see you in another video.